Hello everybody. So I'm making this video because a friend was having trouble with varicella and I just wanted to go over some, like, a few things. Um, so because you lag a little bit, you might have to take going in a little bit differently. But usually as soon as you go in, um, everyone just rushes to the right. But because you lag a little bit, you might have to, like, wait just like a tiny bit. Um, so let's go ahead and show. Do, do, do. There she is, looking, uh, I mean, looking at me, I guess. I don't like how smug, how smug she looks. So anyway, once you spawn in, make sure there's no strings around you. And if there are, just stand in a safe spot and then move to the right corner. There is poison in the right corner sometimes, so you may have to be, uh, wary about that. But otherwise, the corner is pretty safe. It's pretty much the only safe spot in the whole map. And then you can do your damage. Um, the middle is also... Hold on, let me spawn familiars. I need to heal. <laughs> the middle is also, uh, somewhat safe. And the corner that's, like, right... Or not corner. But the one spot, like, right next to the corner is also somewhat safe. Sometimes, not always. So I'm just going to mark the safe spots real fast. And when I say safe, I mean the right corner, like I said, is very safe most of the time, aside from when there's poison. Um, the spot that I'm about to mark, or all the other spots I'm about to mark, are safe given that she's not, like, or that the strings are not in a certain pattern. So this spot... And the spot in the middle. Hello? Okay, that was weird. So, Hilla will teleport to someone random, uh, randomly in the map. Of course, since I'm the only person here, she only is going to summon to me. Um, the candles in the back. So, they will light up according to how many people have, have red skulls. And right now, since I'm the only person in here, and I have one red skull, there's one lit candle. Only this what is this platform uh this column whatever has the candles don't worry about these candles up here these don't count i am dying i might be dead <laughs> i need to heal okay there we go um so yeah don't worry about any of the other candles you see just on the like they can spawn up here or down here depending on how many people are in your party um once all of the candles are lit you can then spawn an altar um, in this case, I only need three. As you can see, there's three candles. Once all of them are lit, an altar respawns somewhere random in the map. If Hilla touches it, or stands on top of it, it will... Hold on. Uh, okay. It will despawn and respawn somewhere else. Oh, that's bad. So, the reason that you don't want to, uh, have red skulls is because of that attack. Um, she'll slash at the screen and get rid of all of your red skulls. By the way, the skulls are your lives. Just, yeah. <laughs> so every time you get hit by a red string, you're kind of losing a life. Anyway, not the point of this video. This is not a toss this boss. <laughs> so yeah, right corner, very safe. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is the poison. The reason that you don't want to stay here all the time is because she'll possibly just go to you if you're in that corner. Um, what else do I want to mention? So let's say I had someone else in the party with me here. There would be more candles up there. Um, if I get hit by a string, that lights up one of the candles. If the other party member gets hit by a string, it lights up another candle. So you guys have to work together to determine when you want to start cleansing. Because if one of you is at one life and the other person hasn't taken any strings, like hasn't get gotten uh, any red skulls, you're about to die. <laughs> so you have to tell them, like, hey, can you uh, get hit by some red strings? Like, I'm about to die here. I have no lives left. So then, hopefully, they will uh, take some strings like this, and you'll have all of the candles lit. Ooh, I'm about to... Ooh, that was almost really bad. Please don't step on it. Please don't step on it. Thank you. All right, so next thing. The strings will have either... Or the hands that spawn the strings will either have a pattern of three strings or four strings. Four strings, very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous. This one is a four... Oh, actually, that was a five. Wow. So that means there was a uh, very little space between the uh, between the strings. Um, hopefully, it'll spawn a three now. Okay, so that one had a three. So there was a much bigger gap between the uh, between the strings. Um, here, let me try to 
Show another example. Uh, nope, can't. <laughs> I hate this boss. She makes it so hard to explain things. Okay, that one on the right. The one that was right here had three strings, which means that there was a much open, a very open spot there. So that one was easier to stand between. But, um, okay, so the other thing. When the strings are green, you can walk through them perfectly fine. That That is totally fine. However, uh, after two seconds of appearing, the strings will attack. Once they attack, or turn red like that, that's when it takes away your skull. So you're basically allowed to, like, reposition in between the strings when that happens. Um, the attacks you want to avoid are the green, the uh, green, the blue attack like this. That blue attack will stun you and then uh, launch you. So you want to definitely avoid that. Um, some of the time, sometimes you can't avoid it, and that's how you get a red skull. Like that's perfectly fine. Um, just don't panic. You can flash jump out of it. You can use other mobility skills out of it to slow down your momentum. Or if you have a, a dash or a skill. You can uh, do that out of it. So, for instance, I'm going to try to get blued here. Here we go. And then you can see I can use Vortex to completely change my momentum. I can also aim it down if I want to not get launched. Um, if I want to go straight back to the ground, but get less distance horizontally. Of course, that's for me, not for you. <laughs> you know, as you say, bucks are overpowered or something. Oh, no, you say I'm overpowered, not bucks. Uh, you can also avoid the attack if you just have some kind of quick hop you don't i do wait this isn't a i forgot this isn't a uh what's that thing called <laughs> what do i call my videos <laughs> this isn't a uh toss this bus so i shouldn't even mention things that i can do all right so um let's see so i explained the candles i explained that other people can get hit by the candles to spawn or to light them up um so times that you would want to cleanse when somebody is at two red skulls or more red skulls um like two might even be a little like like some parties that are actually used to the fight might be like oh two is like that's that's fine like you can still you have three lives to work with uh in newer parties i would definitely say at two red skulls to start like getting other people hit by the uh, strings um i definitely don't have enough time here to cleanse but i'm gonna try to anyway so maybe i can show you what happens when uh you're a little too late all right so the altar's over there go okay oh that was just in time she literally just did it so during this animation you can't get red stringed um you can use that to your advantage but you cannot be red stringed during that animation that would be kind of unfair because you can't see um Right, so I was explaining party members. So yeah, uh, two reds or three reds, because then you only have two lives. Um, I would say get your party to try and cleanse. Um, also keep in mind the timer, the hourglass. If the hourglass is low, uh, like really low, like literally about to do its thing, then yeah, they might just have to give up on that life that they lost. And let's see, anything else, anything else? I think that's it, actually. How was that nine minute? There's no way this was nine minutes. I feel like I... <laughs> Ooh, boy. Mm. Well, I guess that's it. Um, Not really. There's so much more I could say. But again, this isn't a toss this boss. I'm literally just trying to help you out with the red strings and when to cleanse, where the spots are safe. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me do that now. Although, if you've been watching the video, you probably saw me go to certain spots that are you know, somewhat safe. Um, but yeah, some spots are safer than others. Like I said, the right corner, extremely safe. Everywhere else, situational. Sometimes it'll spawn, you know, an open spot like this. This I can, like, walk here. Like, that's perfectly fine. Um, other spots will be not so safe. I'm going to try to find one that's, like, really, really not safe. Like this one. This one, very not safe. You can see there were like two horizontal, two uh, diagonal strings as well as like two horizontal ones. Not safe. Very bad. Very. You have to be super precise to uh, not get string there. Um, so I don't consider that to be safe. But sometimes that spot will be safe because it won't have that situation like that. See, it was open. 
So you'd really just have to pay attention to where you're going to be. Um, so yeah, at this point, I would say you could still get a strain. You can still cleanse. Um, now, you see it's like really, really low. I think you only have like 30 seconds at this point. Also, even if you're bound, you can... Um, so like, okay, here's a perfect example. I got hit by blue. <laughs> I know, I'm jumping topic, topic. Things are happening as I'm doing this. So I got hit by blue, which means I got, uh, you know, she kept me stunned long enough to get a red, uh, red skull. In that situation, nobody's going to help me to cleanse that because they're risking their red skulls or their lives to save mine. And it's just better to just lose it to the, uh, the screen attack. Like, see, now it's just gone. It's better for me to just take the L. Like, don't... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's not, not worth everyone else's life just to uh, save my own. But if it's, like, full like this, yeah, go for it. Like, definitely they should help you cleanse. Um, but yeah, going back to open spots. The right side. Very right side, very safe. Um, aside from her attacks and her poison. Everywhere else, situational safeness. So hopefully I can do something here. All right, this situation. So I can actually move left there instead of staying in between the uh, the strings because I saw that a hand had spawned strings over here first. Um, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So I was able to do that because um, a, a string had appeared here first and then like a second later spawned here. So once this one was done attacking, I was able to move to the left to where that other string was. Does that make sense? I'm gonna have to like replay that or something in the editing. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Oh my god, this is so long. I meant for this to be like a five minute video. There's so much to go over though. I guess... I don't know. Well, anyway. Um, hopefully that explained enough <laughs> to help you get through at least first phase. And um, hopefully this video helped you out. I'm sure there's other videos out there that explain it way better than me, because I'm literally just rushing this because I uh, I want to go stream. <laughs> but I also wanted to make this video to kind of get me back into recording, because I'm sure you guys have noticed I haven't been recording uh, or I haven't been uploading anything because uh, I've been playing a lot of other games and just, I don't know, relaxing, I guess. But yeah, I want to get back into making YouTube videos again. I, I always say that. I make like two videos and then I go on hiatus. <laughs> and then I make two videos, go on hiatus. I, I will come back to making videos. Um, I just don't know when yet. I'm playing Must on a Rise, you know, I got... Oof. Anyway, um, this video is over. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Alright, hopefully I don't have to do too much editing. I don't think I left anything out. Let me let me try to go over everything. I'm probably gonna cut this part out. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, even though this video was really only intended for, like, one person. Or, I guess, anyone who's having trouble understanding the first part of the fight. Or, like, the... the bare minimum of this fight because i didn't go over second phase the other phases like once she changes health uh, and stuff like that some different summons different attacks that she does like green and purple whatever i'll, I'll do that in the toss this boss when is the toss this boss don't know but anyway thank you for watching and uh now i'm just gonna rant to myself hopefully unless i leave this in um i don't know if i want to pass this to my editor because this is really just like a video that i just threw together i didn't really format well i don't really format videos anyway but i don't know um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna rant to myself. Um, so let's see. Everything I went over, let's see. So, I went over the red skulls, I went over how to get the red skulls, how to summon the altar. Oh, I didn't say spam NBC chat on the altars. To make them, or maybe I did. <sighs> Whatever. Um, let's see, what else? The screen break. Um, safe spots. Anything else? Healing familiars. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that. <sighs> ah, whatever. Hopefully, I helped him in terms of strings and stuff. Why didn't I just stop recording?